Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you with another video. See so you like, Kevin, what is all this stuff? What's going on? Well, this is more of a discussion video than a tech video, but it is a tech video and a discussion video. Um, you might have to reverse some of that, forward it, however you want to do it. Uh, but anyway, we'll get into that. So, it's coming up on the time we're going to be starting to get back into the KE-102 build. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are still on the Andrew build, which we're not quite finished, but that is coming up to be done soon. Um, on that build, we just have to replace the shock, which I have. Two um, tires, two tubes, and a brake cable. And then that bike is done. And then we got to get the train wheels mounted onto it. So, we're going to continue um, flowing with the bikes. I haven't been feeling too well lately, so sorry for the um, shortness of videos. So, this is the cluster. As you guys remember, this one right here, it's got the uh, speedometer and the tachometer. This has all been converted to 12 volts. Um, I got a lot of questions. Kevin, how did you do that? How did you get the headlight? All right, so I did videos on building the headlight and doing this. Um, so I'm going to get back into it a little bit more today. Um, once again, that headlight bezel, which is this. This is the bezel, and this is the bucket. Both of these parts right here are from a KE100. The headlight bulb, this part right here, the glass right here, is from a... This one right here that's on the KE-102 is from a Yamaha Virago. And this is what it looks like. And I took a KE-100 one to show you what they look like side by side. Both of these happen to be the same name. They look exactly the same. This one's 12 volts. This one's 6 volt. Now, there is a very distinct difference between the two. Not just the voltage and the writing on them. But they have the same socket. Okay. The difference between the two is if you pull this rubber off. This has a replaceable bulb. This one does not. So when this one blows. You got to replace the whole entire thing. When this one blows. You turn the ring. If you can get it out. I'm doing this one handed. And then out comes your bulb. And then you take an LED. And you stick it in. And put the ring back on. And then give it a turn. Okay? And then you're all done. Put your rubber back on. And you're all set. So this one right here has already been converted. This one has an LED light bulb in it. In fact, not only does that have an LED in it. All of them have LEDs. So my headlight is all LED. And I get, Kevin, what else do I have to change? Well, you're going to have to change your directional. You're going to have to change your um, light bulbs. Um, all of them to whatever you want you can put regular bulbs in them or leds um i'm going all led on this bike only because they're bright i want to be seen and i want to be safe so a couple of things i picked up is i picked up a couple of uh kawasaki just on the bag um what do you call it the grips and a kawasaki pad for the handlebars and that's pretty much where i left off now this bike is going to be 12 volts. This Yasa battery is not going to cut it. Because this battery right here is only 6 volt. So I need a 12 volt battery that's going to fit in its place. And power all my lights flawlessly. And be able to be recharged. So I made a charging system. If you guys look at the KE-102 bike build. Um, I have videos on converting a 6 volt charging system over to a 12 volt charging system um, and this bike is also CDI so the engine part of it is all done however I still have to face you know I got to get a horn that's easy it's scooter horn and that right there will take care of that problem um, you know from any one of the Chinese mopeds you can get that you can get a 12 just a regular 12 volt dirt bike horn and uh, those are readily available on eBay for like 15 bucks I mean you can get a ton of them probably even cheaper than that I think I saw one the other day for eight bucks. So we have to do the horn, um, the flasher, which is easy enough to get. You can get that for a uh, Caprice, a Chevy Caprice, a Ford uh, Thunderbird, a Chevy truck, a Ford truck. 
they're all the same Dodge, use the same flasher system from the uh, 70s to early 80s. So, those flashers are generally available, and you can get them at any hardware store, I mean, any parts store. So, let's get on to the charging, um, the battery that is going to be used on this bike. Well, you guys may notice I have M12 stuff, Milwaukee M12. I've got a 4.0 battery here. I've got a 2.0 battery here. In fact, the light that's even powering this is a um, snowblower light powered by an M12 4.0 battery. <laughs> you can see I have a ton of four, a ton of 12 volt stuff. Everything from drivers to cutoff wheels to um, I got a sawzall in here. I got an impact drivers, impact guns. I've got a lot of Milwaukee fuel stuff. M12 battery charges galore. I've got one there, one there. I, I have another one. I got more stuff in the house too. So I mean, hey, here's another charger right here. So I got plenty of charges, plenty of batteries, and everything else. So, my problem I was going to have was, I don't need a 4.0 battery in this, I can go with a 2.0. So, i got a 2.0 here on my flashlight, which is 12 volts. That's a lithium-ion battery. See the size difference? Even though there's a size difference, this has more amperage than this 6-volt battery, and more volts. So, not only more amperage, more volts. So, how... Am I going to make this work on my bike, you're asking, right? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you right now. There is a company, okay, and I'm going to do uh, Terrafilma Terra Technologies right here. I spoke with a guy, Michael, um, over there. He, um, I'm pretty sure he's the owner. But anyway, I, um, I talked with Michael. Um, I'm not sure if he's the owner or not, but this is what he does out of his house. It's a home, home thing. So anyway, he's the engineer, and um, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, it was awesome. So anyway, I'm going to show you what he made, or what the company made, I should say. Look at this, huh? This is an M12. You can see inside there, it's got the three holes for the mounting. It's got the two terminals sticking out, and on the other end, it's got two heavy gauge, 12 gauge wires. Okay, now this is going to fit... Right on top of my battery. Right on top of the battery like so. Alright, it fits in there. It's really nice. It's 12 volt right on it. Pretty cool. I want to show you guys this. Look at this. The width. Looking straight down. It's just about the same. Look at the height, guys. How cool is that? Look at this. And it literally is half the weight. And half the size. So I'm going to power the bike with a battery that is half the weight, half the size. How cool is that? And this battery has enough juice to power the entire bike. That is pretty cool to me. So now I'm going to take the original battery box and I'm going to put a wall in there. So now I have a spot for the battery. And I'm going to have a cool little cubby right next to it for the registration and then that'll be all set. And that is the battery that is going to power. Just need a 2.0. You don't need anything more than that to power all these lights. And that's it. The charging system will charge this battery no problem. And then if I ever left my lights on and need to charge it, I can just plug it into one of these right here. And a half hour later, my battery is fully charged. Or I could take a second battery... A second battery and put it right next to it or I could put this on here inside there modify it to fit it's got a USB port right there so I have a phone charger and a um, I told you how many how much pop battery life I got a regular that's where you charge it from and I could charge my phone run it um, what do you call it there a GPS whatever I wanted to right from my bike how cool was that so if you're out in the woods and you're going for one of those long trips i can run a battery and then if i want to and the sales batteries are on low i can just switch them and let the charging system charge it so there's all kinds of awesome upgrades for this ke 102 i'm building so i wanted to touch base with you guys and show you that and give these people over there um michael house is the one i talked to and uh 
this is their contact information right there if you want one of these cool adapters and there they are again so yeah they make cool battery adapters for the m12 uh, they make other adapters too for batteries but um this is the one that i personally needed and uh, go check them out online and um definitely order one of these things it's pretty cool and you can do other things with this you don't have to do this you can make your own little radio for a car i might order a couple more of these for my 12 volt car system uh thing i could run my um m12 4.0 batteries on it and have the car stereo outside running so there you go and it's really cool it's engraved m12 uh 12 volt pretty cool so moving on from the ke102 a lot of people have been asking me about headlight stuff so that's why i got headlights all over the place so let's move this stuff right out of the way and uh we'll press on okay so this headlight right here is out of the andrew build i took this out of the andrew build to show you guys what it looks like it's just a bezel and you can see how it's you know kind of rough up rough down there but not too bad this is the andrew build light it's got a couple of dings in it right there see right there a couple of dings nothing too dramatic though and you can see it's a factory 6 volt 25 watt 25 watt high and low and that's what it looks like on the back side of it so a lot of people are having a hard time buying that particular light the fixture and they're like kevin this thing is really hard to find you have any extras i do not um i didn't realize how much of a pain in the neck that headlight assembly was but coincidentally the um yamaha lb50 scooter you know the yamaha one that i'm working on has this setup this is a chrome bought this for 35 bucks it's a whole chrome setup real nice quality all metal all steel and this is what it looks like on the inside oh look at that guy you guys see a resemblance i bet you do so we're going to flip both of these over and i'm going to show you okay so here we sit with two identical fixtures look at this there are the clips to hold the headlight in these clips are bent differently but they will work so you can have the headlights that way um or the or they might be installed incorrectly you can actually just flip them over if you want in that direction the way they sit are exactly identical the light bulbs, I believe, are interchangeable. So I'm just going to find that out right now. Okay. I just had to stop you to unplug them because I couldn't do it with the thing on there. So there's one socket right here. This is the factory socket. Here is the aftermarket socket. Same sockets. Light bulbs, light bulbs. This is a 12-volt bulb. And this is the six. So they're really, really close. Easy enough to switch them over if you want to. Not that big of a deal. Let's see if they'll fit each other. Because I'm not really sure about that. And this is a learning channel. Sometimes we like to learn together, don't we guys? Okay. I'm holding you so I'm doing this with one hand. Should be a groove in there. Oh, there it is. Yep, fits all the way in. And that's all the way in there. And there you have it. The light bulbs are interchangeable. From 6 to 12, from 12 to 6, both ways. And then, of course, you can take your factory pigtail connector here. And put this into... that one push it in turn it and this let's see if this one should work on this one looks like we'll have to clean this one up not not clean it but shave it down just a hair 
No, maybe not. That will work. As long as you get the right combination. I gotta pause you for a second so I can do it with two hands. All right, so I got it. So it was just a little off on that. But as you can see, it's in. Pulled it in all the way. You don't have to shave it down, nothing. Now this KV75 headlight assembly has a 12 volt bulb in it. So keep that in mind, guys. There are other bikes out there that work on your bikes. And this is a great alternative and now it'll fit directly onto your bucket. The other cool thing, I gotta stop you guys for a few minutes. I gotta take a uh, quick break and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got these little lights here. They're loose on here right now, but you can see these uh, these little directionals right here. You get these on eBay as well. These right here are about, I think it was eight bucks for a pair. So they're really cheap. They actually make a bigger size too, which I was thinking about getting. Um, these are the mini, mini ones, but um, it's pretty cool. This is for the, uh, like I said, this is for the, um, LB50 Yamaha. So, this stuff is going to be pretty cool on the bikes. Um, I wanted to show you guys in comparison to Andrew's bike build. Um, headlight assembly. So, I ripped that off of his to show you guys for this video exclusively. And remember, if you guys have questions on what stings will work, don't feel, you know, don't be hesitant to try them out. You know, there's, there's a lot of things out there that will work on other bikes and make your bike really, really super cool. So, once again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hope you guys learned something cool. Um, and you guys get to see a different angle of what I'm going to be doing. So, we have a lot of cool stuff, like I said, coming up. The videos. Still trying to get a whole bunch of stuff out there. Um, it's just been really, really tight at the uh, moment. Trying to get everything in order and figure it out. But, um, working on all that. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the cool, awesome product. That battery right there, that battery, uh, what do you call it there? Terminal plug. That's going to work perfectly. You can see how comparison is to the 6 volt. And that is going to be able to power the whole bike. It's going to look like that. I mean, it's going to be super bright. So, um, all the lights are going to be on. All of them are going to be working together. And... The nice thing about this, remember when I told you guys when I was building this KE-102 build, I says, lightweight. We're going to make this thing as factory as possible, but we want to make some things. We're going to change some things, modify some things. Now, check this out. I added on a tachometer cable and drive system to the engine. I added on that gate that's in front of the headlight right there. Right there. I added that on. And that instrument cluster is a little heavier than the one that I pulled off. Because it's got a tachometer in it. The other one didn't have that. So now, to compensate the weight that I added, I just took the weight away. So I'm back even Stevens with the weight. Weight distribution. So I'm changing some things up on the bike to make them lighter so I can put something heavier on. Or keep it light so the bike goes faster. Just all kinds of little things like that, you know, you gotta, you gotta check, you know. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys find this uh, stuff in interesting. I, I enjoy doing it, enjoy, enjoy putting it out there for you guys. Um, I met a lot of cool people from here and I got a lot of awesome feedback on my bike builds. So, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna build the KE-102 this year because, honestly, I wanna ride this thing. Um, I got some really cool stuff coming up for it, guys. Some amazing stuff. So I can't wait to show it to you. And uh, we're just going to keep plugging away. So I'm off. Thank you guys for your subscriptions. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys later. I'm out.